year you asked me where is this leading and uh, I I told you nowhere in some way the the believed self is still trying to go somewhere uh-huh. and that also is that habit energy of the mind that is creating a what feels like separation between the mind and the body. And so, um, it's something you're going to want to sink a little bit deeper in. And so I, I said the other night that that fear is the ego not wanting its story to be over doesn't f- it doesn't feel that the story is complete and so when you look at this tree and i say the whole universe is in this tree it feels feels that there has to be more it doesn't want its story to end here there's things that your ego wants to accomplish it wants to experience but these are really just beliefs and being present really being present is what this earth really needs, what humanity really needs more than anything else. It needs to feel the steps of someone who is truly present and at peace. Humanity needs to experience the the rest of someone that's at peace more than anything else. There's no greater, and I'm going to say this, but don't make it a work, there's no greater job than to bring, to be peace in this earth, to be love in this earth. There's no greater thing. Don't make that a work. Even the ego will make that a work. It'll start sitting to try to become enlightened or it'll start really working hard to bring peace. That's when we lose it. That's when it's no longer true peace. So it doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter all of those doings will be an unfolding of this moment the question really is this are you going to be peace in the doing whatever it is that you're doing that unfolding moment will you be peace or is it something that you still have allowed the believed self to to linger and have its its agenda and its desires 
and and again understand I'm talking about the believed self it's the believed self the ego that will experience misery that will carry the mind energy and tension in the body and disharmony it's all ego it's just the believed self okay so the difference is that the more you realize who you truly are and you're letting go of all of those beliefs that have and and the belief self is is so layered there's so many layers of that belief self mental attachments and so many different identities and you let go of one only to discover there's ten more beneath it it's not it's it has in the twenty however many years that your body and mind has been on this earth it has developed each and every day layers and layers and layers and it's it doesn't require work to let them go matter of fact it it only requires doing nothing to let them go it's rest that overcomes it's the peace that overcomes but the ego's life is found in doing so it is always looking ahead trying to accomplish something that's the one that will find misery the ego wants to find the love of its life and when it believes that it finds the love of its life but it turns out that it's not the love of its life uh, it's miserable it's heartbroken months of depression sometimes even suicides even even people kill themselves over that sort of thing when the believed self is a strong identity in one thing that it does and that one thing that it does is taken away it is miserable when the believed self is trying to create something has is a strong desire and that desire is not fulfilled ah, miserable the believed self is always looking outside of the moment for pleasure it truly believes that if it's able to do this it will be happy the happiness comes but it's very short-lived, isn't it? And then, typically following it, 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 the belief self, tries to come up with and create something more. And so everyone sets out, every ego sets out with certain goals, life goals. And they say, we want to have this much money, and I want to have this house, and I would like to have this car. And in our culture, they have you dream cast where pick the car that you want and the vacations you want to go on and the amount of money that you want to make and that sort of thing right and so when all of that happens and if maybe the five or ten percent that actually accomplish those things when they have them when they get each one of those things along the way a little bit of happiness but it doesn't last it's impermanent and it's just a surface layer happiness so it's not it's not even a true happy it's not true joy it's not everlasting it's just on the surface and what that ego will do is it will accomplish those things but even in accomplishing those things it still doesn't feel that its story is complete and so what does it do it creates new things that it has to achieve mm -hmm. it begins to live at a higher means and in doing all of this humanity has complicated existence in incredible ways it used to be people were just thankful for the the bread that they had to eat they could genuinely find 
could genuinely find happiness in breath because to breathe is a celebration of life. You're breathing, it means you are alive. Celebrate. You have a piece of bread or a banana. I celebrate it. You have shelter. Celebrate it. Now we've complicated it. We need this much space and we need to have the bigger and the better. And it's all this societal. It creates nothing but misery and discontentment, unsatisfaction, dissatisfaction. It, it creates shame and fear. And so the ego is never feels that its story is complete. It doesn't matter what your goal is. The ego's goal is the belief self. Its goal is. It never feels that it is complete. It will never be satisfied. If it experiences satisfaction, it is much, it is very short-lived. And if satisfaction or happiness is found in story, found in an accomplishment, then when that accomplishment or if that accomplishment is removed, what do you have? Misery. Who am I? And so the fear of not wanting to see the universe in this tree or in the fire or in the, the water is the fear of impermanence. Because when you see the universe in the water, it's reminding the ego of its impermanence. That it will never be complete. But that fear is an invitation for you to discover more deeply who you are. The one that is always happy. The one that is peace. The one that is joy. The one that is fully satisfied. The one that simply is just being so it's an invitation and then that one the more you discover that you can create all that other stuff that the ego wanted to create but your your existence hinges doesn't hinge on any of it it doesn't matter you fully realize it's like a painting don't attach yourself to the painting paint the painting and let it go if the painting doesn't come out like you wanted it to, it's okay, it was just a painting. You enjoy it anyway, you go, ah, well, it's still beautiful. Why was it beautiful? Because it was an expression that came forth from you. Enjoy it. And then let it go. If you can breathe, if you can breathe consciously, you're already a greater success than 98% of humanity. <laughs> and it doesn't matter who sees it. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. Give us a thumbs up, comment, thoughts, questions in the section below. Let us know what you want to hear from us. Subscribe to our channel for more life-changing content. And as always, check the section below for our website, for live events, where we'll be, what we're up to, more about us, and our online school website is listed below as well. We love you. We're glad you're here. We want to hear from you. We're in this with you.